can you recognize that Her Majesty lives inside you, she surrounds you, she plays around you, she's your pulse, your breath, your existence is that. Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, the Creator of all creations, is shining in your heart. And what do we do? We run around crying out about our story. Can you recognize that? Can you drop your story and go into a deep silence and recognize that God that spirit is breathing through you. And in that, realizing your self-worth, that if you were not worthy and you weren't loved, you would have never been able to know what love is, or touch it, or feel it, or transmit it. You would be as cold as a rock. So of course you're being loved, and of course you're beautiful, and you, of course you have God inside you. Otherwise you would have never been here, and you could have never heard what I'm saying. As thousands of people listen, try to hear what I say, but they never heard it, and few can hear it. Recognize who you are. Recognize your love. Recognize how beautiful you are. The way you're shaped. Because this is God's will. This is how God wants you to be. This is how her Majesty is expressing itself as you. Recognize that. And love follows. See that the power of love is in you. And you have this power that can transform everything that it touches. And in that, you begin to love and accept yourself and appreciate your qualities, which are godly. Because I see that in you. And if I can love you and I don't know you, I promise you, you can love yourself too. If I can have love for you, compassion, and see your beauty, surely you can see yourself. But you have to let go of your story, my brothers and sisters. You gotta let go of that story and look in the mirror and see your own beauty, your light. See the presence of God inside you, shining brightly, waiting for you to discover it. Because you're perfect the way you are. It's not true that you 
don't remain in this place. Let's make this part clear. A part of you is always in this space. If it wasn't in this place of the fifth dimensional consciousness, then there would have been no witness. Nobody would be witnessing of you going into this place and you coming out of this place. Someone, something awakened, something still at all times, must be witnessing you diving in it and you di getting out of it. That is always here. That is always still. The goal is what you're referring to, that you go in and out of it, is a temporarily state that you get a glimpse, temporarily you dive into silence, and then you come out of the silence. But the real you, the observer, who's observing this transaction and is able to repeat it as you have just reported it is always in silence and it's always still. And my goal in what I do is to make you recognize that part which is not a feeling and it's not a state it's a space. It's a permanent space which is always here. States can change. States come and go. I could be in a state of meditation. I can be in a state of panic. I can come home from work and put my feet up and pour myself a glass of wine and have a little wine and just be in a unwind and go into a relaxing state. Next thing is I can get some news. Oh, they're towing your car. And then I panic and I run on the street and then I go into nervousness or anxiety. So that's another state. But the wa watcher, the observer, is the one, is the space which is always here. And it never changes and it's always still. And my goal is to help you recognize that.